so oh. like, we, can, we can just move on. Okay, gotcha. Welcome back to the Vinyl Word Podcast. As always, I'm Steve Beach. And I'm Brian Mayer. Hello. I want to thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, if this is your first time listening, welcome aboard. We're uh, happy you found us. Right. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow you, us. you got lucky, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But if you've been listening to us for a while, uh, thank you again. Just want to encourage you to subscribe so that we will be notified of new episodes. Because, again, as we mentioned, we have full-time jobs, so we don't put this out on a regular basis. I also want to encourage you to give us money so yeah. that we can do more of these <laughs> and make them better. Yes. Mentioned before that uh, we finally hit 1,000 downloads, which is great. Uh, granted, it took us a year, but hey, I'll take what we can get. We only had to put out 300 episodes right. to get there. <laughs> right. So so we had three listeners per episode. Woo! I count it as a victory. <laughs> right. So we are on side two of missionary stories, Brian. Yes, we are, Steve. Yeah, and this was interesting on so many levels yeah. from, from side one, from a content level, from <laughs> a technical level, everything. There's so many different things. On side one, I remember there was one spot where they sounded like they sped up a tape. Yes. To, to sound like the kids were, were talking and really I, quick. And I made a joke that I, that said that what they we slowed it down and what they said was filthy. And Steve, using the miracle of modern technology, did slow it down and it was even crazier than I could have possibly imagined. <laughs> it truly was awful and creepy. So, yeah, we were able, I was able to record a couple of those. So we're going to save those till the end, till mm-hmm. the, act, act, the record of the outro. You, I'm going to post a couple of those and you'll hear those. And it's, it's kind of similar because you're hearing the actual record going really slow. But what the guy actually says, kind of creepy. Not kind of. It yeah. is. Yeah. There are also, from a technical st- standpoint, there are a couple of bad parts in this record. Yes. Where, sir. you know, records skip. That's kind of the nature of records sometimes. I still blame you, but continue. <laughs> yes. But this record skipped more than I could handle. <laughs> so you're going to hear like some what sounds like missing parts, but mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with your phone or computer or your app. You're just having, you're just experiencing a bad part. Yeah, so. it, it, it's not buffering. It was the fault of the record on this one. Yeah, you're not having a stroke. <laughs> There's no reason to call your doctor. All right, well, with that, let's go. All right, Steve, drop the needle. Let's get this thing going. <laughs> That's the E.T. soundtrack, Steve. Did John Williams Once steal from time, this? Was a little boy that would be pretty sad if he did. Mon he was pretty desperate. Well. Can you say Mon well? Can Don't you say, say Mon well, well, Steve? Mon well. I, I can only say That's it pretty fine. good. Okay. No. Mon Ma- 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 yeah. well lived on a it's little average. farm in a faraway country called Mexico. Oh, it wasn't a Is big Mexico beautiful far away, farm buddy? Like the farms we have here at home. We're on the same it plot a, of dirt. Well, it was sort of it's a, just south of the border. Sort of a poor little yeah. farm, and the field a went right up farm. the side of a hill. Farm? Yeah, we were poor, poor, but we weren't Mama's stupid. Because mother and father were very poor. <laughs> they didn't have a big, nice house. They didn't have <laughs> much money. They Not didn't have much of anything. Farms. Right. But they, they didn't had have a mansion with a sports car in the because driveway. You know right. daddy they didn't have vineyards. Home. Do you know what he grew? He grew corn. Do you what know all the things you Oh, yeah. He grew avocados. Corn? Agave. Oh, Cucumbers. My, you tomatoes. So many cocaine. Things. Ooh. No. Manuel ate oh, cereal wrong. From corn, what can you make with corn? Uh, you can make cornbread, Tortillas ethanol, are mm-hmm. flat and corn pipes, cakes. and dumb hats. Lunch. Right. And do you know what he ate for dinner? He ate tortillas corn. and beans. <laughs> what did he have for dessert? Oh, corn pudding. End to the Perfect. Manuel's mother could make from corn. And so Manuel and his mother and his father and his brothers and his sisters ate and Their ate family. And ate. Yeah, just say and his family. They were very happy. Yeah. And then... Okay. One day, Manuel's father came in from his cornfields. He came he into the ticked. house, and he didn't say <laughs> hello, and he didn't smile, and he didn't muss up Manuel's hair and play with him. He just <laughs> stood there, and his he, face he threw was his all, tequila bottle against the wall. Upside down. He was very sad. He turned Manuel What's upside the down. What? Asked Manuel. Shut up, child. What's right. the matter? Asked Manuel's brothers and sisters, and. Yes, what's the matter? asked Manuel. 
And then they <laughs> and all began to talk said, at once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all asking the same question? Poor Manuel's father just had to wait until they had all quieted down before he could answer. Do you know what the problem and with the corn was, Steve? Said, what? There were I children. I have been out in the fields oh, looking yes. at the corn. And something is mm -hmm. wrong. Look, oh, I have picked some corn to show you. Just look at this corn. It's not big and beautiful the way corn should be. <gasps> and it wasn't. It was little <laughs> and all shriveled up. And the corn kernels were not big and fat and juicy the way they should be. They were hey, little well, the and... The corn had just gotten out of the pool. It was swimming with the other vegetables. Hey, <laughs> nice missionary lady. Asshole. I was in the pool. Eat them. <laughs> and you couldn't make cereal out of them. And you couldn't make tortillas. You couldn't out even of them. have cornflakes. You couldn't do right. anything with them. Oh, <laughs> said Manuel's mother. Oh, oh, oh! Said oh, Manuel. they must have put some of the pictures of the corn on Corn oh, Hub. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, oh! Believe their eyes. Oh. Look at the size of that what stall. What had happened to their beautiful corn? No more tortillas. No more cereal. No more. Well, no, no more Taco anything. Bell. No more they hominy, whatever that is. They didn't mind a poor little house, or a poor little barn, or a poor little field that ran up the side of a hill. They didn't mind any of those things as long as they could Everything's eat. poor in Mexico. But That's eat, the moral of this, I guess. Well, yeah, why, there are no why, rich why people in Mexico they didn't have anything. They thought about it, and thought about it, and then the children began to cry. And then... <laughs> Manuel's mother thought No more another, tortillas. And she thought some Mom. more... And she thought and thought and thought. Like scarecrow. And then <laughs> she, she thought till she couldn't and, think no more. What is it, mother? Says father. What is it, mother? Said mother. They all began to talk at once again. And then Manuel's mother shouted. There's one of those weird, yeah, weird accelerators. And the chipmunks attacked again. And Manuel's mother. And Manuel went to the market today, <laughs> and I heard many things. But one thing I heard, I heard that rumors. I remember now, I, I heard, and they all gathered round to that hear Taco Bell is not real Mexican oh, food. I heard what? Things. No, and you don't say. I remember now, it's about corn. Corn, they cried. <laughs> corn, they shouted. You heard about corn. The, literally the you only topic corn. we ever and talk they about. So excited, they they don't know what corn is about that. Talk at once. Corn? What did you hear about corn? <laughs> Until she Stop had to shout. She couldn't raise corn. She also couldn't raise respectable children either. Right. Now you must just listen to me because this is very important. Kind of winning I on all fronts. Yes. Who knows all about growing corn. He knows why <laughs> corn does grow, and he knows why corn doesn't grow. Oh, there are many reasons. <laughs> He's I with the future farmers of America. Many things. <laughs> Some missionaries in faraway America have taught him all these things, and he knows them. Well, them and well, Monsanto. If we could find yes, this man. Yes, of course. Oh, we shall all find them. They the all shouted man? at once. We corn shall find man. him. But Manuel shouted at once. Come together else. with your We plans. shall find him, Father. I'll help you. <laughs> well, though, I can't find Manuel's him, Steve. I have said, a very particular we will find him. Tomorrow I shall go to the village. We will, we'll and I shall find go you. to the market. We will and I shall you. take Manuel with me. And together we <laughs> shall. The streets will flow with his blood, Father. <laughs> Kill him. And so it was decided. Manuel was to go to the market with his father to try to find the man who knew all about growing corn. They had their ropes oh, and their masks an day. <laughs> and their Manuel fake mustaches. In the morning, <laughs> and he washed himself and he brushed his he teeth. He went to the bathroom. And he got <laughs> he into had his a clothes. cup of coffee, even though oh, he's he nine. So excited, he put both of his arms into one sleeve. He put both his legs into one Being excited makes you an and idiot. And he felt as if he had two heads and four arms and four legs. <laughs> what a so human sentence. <laughs> or an octopus? To get right. started. And so <laughs> the dramatic the ending. They were right. Manuel said <laughs> Will Manuel get family, dressed? <laughs> Tune in next week to find West, out. Tune in to How the Corn Grows. <laughs> and the man who knew how to grow corn. As the stalk rises. They looked through the village. They looked around the market. They asked they people. looked for the village idiot. Everybody. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then they found a mirror. There he <laughs> was. They asked him, "Do you know how to grow corn?" He was corn? in the cantina. Asked Manuel's father. 
Do you know how to grow corn? Asked Manuel. <laughs> you and the good man corn? What are you doing? <laughs> and he said, Yes, <laughs> I do know how I'm to sorry, grow I don't corn. speak your That's funny words. I'm here to help <laughs> you. Oh, wait, I do say one thing. Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> what our corn looks like? Can you tell us what is wrong with it? And the man I'll see better than that. I'll, better I'll tell than you that. what's wrong I'll with you. I'll come right out to your farm with you and look at the corn myself. <laughs> oh, I don't trust God. you. You're a different color. <laughs> we'll offer you a contract. Can you say shopping mall? <laughs> and before you could say Are you familiar with an NDA? They were don't worry. You don't have farm. to know anything <laughs> about well, it. Manuel's father It'll still hold up and the man Do you like Starbucks? The corn. <laughs> and the minute they got back to the farm, they went straight to the cornfield. The man looked at the poor little ears of corn, all shriveled up and little and full of wrinkles and all old, just dried up, tiny little things, just dreadful. I told you, the, the corn and was swimming. And he looked swimming. at the dirt the corn was growing in. And he looked at the leaves. And then he looked back at Manuel's father. And he said, you know these are soybeans, sick. right? And you're this growing them in sand and watering them with salt water. What shall There's we your do? problem. You're not a what very good do? farmer. What shall we do, said the man. Why, we'll plant new corn. That's what shall we do. And <laughs> By planting more, actual I'll corn. The seed. <laughs> You've been planting and he did. Coke bottle the tops. Very next <laughs> Why would you do that? He brought new seed and it was good. He brought new seed? Was it a little blue pill? <laughs> Corn grows for six hours. If it grows longer, Steve, they have to call a doctor. Yes. We're going to grow some Viagra. And they burn it all up. And the weeds, too. Burn it all to heck. How to make regular shells on the hillside so the corn wouldn't all slide down the hill. And on the shells, they made little hills. Like the little hills you make when you're playing in the sand. And in the little hills, <laughs> no, like what corn little grows little in, <laughs> and you slide them. And when they were all finished, they sat down to rest. And while they were resting, they drank something they called tequila. And That's why their corn isn't growing because they're lazy. Right? <laughs> they're resting all the time. <laughs> and all about the Lord Jesus. The man who knew how to grow corn Jesus says, "More, more tequila." It's right here on earth, <laughs> and how he went back to heaven to be with God, and how he loves us all and wants us to love him. Manuel's father said, he told but is this going to help my corn to grow? And he said, no, of and course not. Oh, I'm listened. going to do that. They didn't listen just a little bit. They listened with their eyes wide open and their ears too. <laughs> and their ears and their noses, they listened with everything. They listened with their noses closed and their eyes watering. They were allergic to the new corn. Well's father how to read some verses. And while all that was going on, do you know what else happened? Well, no. that corn began to grow is what else happened. Oh, okay. That's the good wing. Superman! <laughs> And they and they stretched to wake up, and they straightened up their backs or their stalks, oh, and they she must nodded have. Yeah. to each other. And so, then it was like the a corn race. is alive Go. with the sound oh, of nightmares. Well, you never saw anything like it in your whole life. Those little corn <laughs> you never wanted just to, stood at there least. on their shelves and they grew. <laughs> the stuffed nightmares and they are made grew, up. And they grew. <laughs> have you ever heard corn scream? They grew faster they than have. you can say tortillas and beans. <laughs> and after they <laughs> Which grow, is the least racist thing she says on the record. Corn didn't come out on the stalks <laughs> and they began to grow. And they got bigger and bigger and bigger. Why, there Look at the was size of that confusion cop. with the yeah. stalks growing and the ears of corn growing. You could almost hear it. And <laughs> finally, the day came. Manuel's father picked one of those ears of corn. And everybody oh, so they're gathered starting to shuck now. Yes. Steve, can I make some shucking jokes? Manuel's father um, I guess it's appropriate. I mean, you shuck corn to be able to eat it. Yeah, you do. Okay, here you go. That family shucked till their bodies hurt. Oh. Tore it off. To and stop they it. held their breath. 
Go shut up yourself. Stop it! A little all shriveled up, full of wrinkles, dried up, tiny little thing. It was the biggest, they fattest, like raisins. juiciest, they were so tiny. ear of corn you ever saw in your life. Oh, the things they could make with that corn. They were so happy they could we've hardly stand it. Yeah, we talked about that already. They hugged each other. And then they hugged themselves. That's what a hug sounds and like. Then yep. They thanked the man. man. First, they thanked the man for helping them grow the corn. Nine months later, Manuel started having new light skin and relatives. And about his son, the Lord Jesus. Why does my sister look different from me? Why is she smarter? They got right down on their knees there on their little. I'm sorry, this is what they thanked the Lord Jesus. They thanked him and they told him. They pleased the man who can grow corn. Stop it was the happiest day of their lives. Their happiest day. Their happiest day involved corn, Steve. Right. How sad. Do you ever wonder what would happen if, well, if... If you give a dad a podcast. Ladies and gentlemen settle this debate right here right now it's not even just the greatest playstation game it's, it's, it's the greatest game ever no to do my own harm but exactly <laughs> yeah i remember he kicked me so hard i thought i owed him money i love it i'm excited for this one he goes what is your name and i was like it's thrash i'm getting punched in the face on the daily man this guy won't shut up i wear that as a badge of honor yeah i i, I got knocked out cold in that match it was awesome. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we make dogs sing. Do you always do these interviews with your shirt off? Going live in three, two, one. So now we've been filming for the last six months. I panicked. Followed by. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. If you give a dad a podcast, available everywhere podcasts are found. The casual racism of this really gets me. Yes, yeah, it's like she's trying to be cute about it, but it's blatantly not cute at all. No, and all it would take is a few seconds of thought of, oh, like, might this hurt someone's feelings if they heard it? Right. And they didn't have big, nice farms, Brian, because <laughs> right. they're Mexicans. Right. How racist is that? Yeah, it, 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 it's pretty bad, but we, we can keep moving on. And one of the things we wanted to talk to you guys about is... The super weird thing we found about the sped up audio. Yeah. Steve, take it away. Yeah. So let me just uh, play one or two of those here real quick. As he looked down, ground and people below rushed up toward him. Then a blinding flash. And for Alan crashed to the earth. 6,500 of the booklets burst forth from the exploding hull of his plane. It flashes into the onlookers like a flock of white doves. The pilot was dead. The plane demolished. That's weird, isn't it? Yes. Why would they use something about a guy dying in a plane and flames everywhere? I know. I know. And this is some of the weirdness we find on records. From racism to sexism to all kinds of weird things that we don't tolerate these days or shouldn't tolerate these days. No, and and again, like these records were made in a different place in a different time. Like, but correct, the world moves forward. Right. You right. might not always like the direction that forward is, but the world <laughs> keeps moving regardless. Right. Right. Exactly. Speaking of moving forward, we have some other records we've been looking at. Just kind of deciding, you know, what we're going to do for our next one. But I'm sure it'll be equally as weird and strange and fun yeah. as the other ones have been. When Steve and I started this podcast, my biggest concern was that there would not be enough <laughs> material in the world. And, and, once I said, we started looking, and I said, oh, ye of little faith. Yes. And I looked <laughs> and I went back to him and I said, I could not have been more. <laughs> and I showed him a few weird records and. Here we are, yeah. season two. Again, we just want to say thanks for listening to The Vinyl Word. As always, thanks for subscribing and continuing to follow us. Yes, and as you leave, I want you to remember, not all records should be corrected. Thank you. Thank you.